Okay, let's go ahead and... All right, welcome friends to this video. We are going to solve a leak code problem in Python. Today's problem is called a split a string and balance strings. All right, let's take a look and read through the problem and then go through some examples, make sense out of what they're asking, and then we can code the solution. All right, so it says balance strings are those that have an equal quantity of L and R characters. Given a balance string S, split the maximum amount of balance strings. Return the maximum amount split balance strings. So let's take a look at this string here, for example. So we have RL, RRLL, RLRL. All right, and what we have is an output of four. So S can be split into four balance strings. So the first one is RL, and then we have RRL, L is one, and then we have RL again, and we have RL again. So essentially what they're asking is how many times does the R occur and how many times does the L occur uh, on that can equal each side of the string? So hopefully this makes sense. Let's try another one here. We have R, L, 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 R, 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 L, R. So we have three in this case. So we first have R, L, and then we have L, 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 R, 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 is an example, and then we have LR. So that balances three times. Let's look at the next one. This one is once. So yeah, we can look at this pattern. We have four L's and we have four R's. That, that was, um, yeah, one, one there, one, uh, yeah, one pattern of L's, one pattern of R's equal one match. All right, let's take a look at the next one. This one can be split into two. So we have R, L, R, L, that's a match. And then we have R, 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 nope, we don't have a match there. We have, oh yeah, we have three R's. And then we have, um, yeah, this would work. So we have, these three R's, we have two L's, here's a fourth R, and then, so essentially what they're saying is these two R's, these three R's, plus this R is a fourth R, these two L's and these two L's will make our balanced string. So this string here is balanced because you have equal R's as you do L's. So that one would give us two. All right, so how do we code this? All right, so let's, uh, uh, let's say we're gonna take a couple. We're gonna create a couple variables. First, we're gonna create match or counters. First one is a match, how many times does it match? And then we're gonna create a character counter. So basically character is going to count the number of R's and then it's going to count the number of L's. And then whenever we have a balance, we're going to have a match counter. All right. So first let's loop inside of our string. So four, we'll call it a letter in S or S is the string that they gave us. And then we're going to do some ifs. We're going to check to see first we're gonna look for R's, then we look for L's and count those. So we'll say if letter is equal to R, then we'll do character plus equal to one. And then we could say if letter is equal to uh, L, then we'll subtract it. So we know that we're balanced here. So character minus equal to one. And then if it ends up with well, those two match and we say that character is now zero, then match we'll add ones and then I'll go go through this real quick and then out of the for loop we'll return match. All right, so let's take a look at this. So 
essentially we're looping through our string for each letter. And we, if we find an R, we'll add it to the character count. Then if we find an L, we'll subtract it to the character count. And then at the end, after we've done both of those, if it is at zero, we'll go ahead and say that is a match. And then after we've done through every letter through our loop, we'll return how many times it matches. All right, let's go ahead and run that. Let's see how we've done. And we've run successful for all our test cases. All right, hopefully that helps. And thanks for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next LeetCode Challenge. So long.